Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the colorful world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. You know, it's interesting to see how the Spider-Verse inspiration has trickled into this film's animation style. What do you think, Eva? Absolutely, James. While there are traces of that inspiration, Mutant Mayhem manages to carve out its own unique identity. The animation is vibrant and engaging, and it really captures the energy of the Ninja Turtles universe. Totally agree, Eva. And speaking of energy, this film is chock full of it. It's tailored for kids who love bright colors and non-stop action. The soundtrack is another highlight. It complements the scenes and brings an extra layer of fun. Oh, for sure. And let's not forget the comedy aspect. This movie is unapologetically a comedy. But you know, James, as much as I enjoy a good laugh, I sometimes miss the days when the turtles were just plain awesome, with humor sprinkled in at the right moments. Exactly, Eva. While the comedy is a big part of this film's identity, I do feel that the balance between humor and action could have been fine-tuned. Moving on to the creative minds behind this movie, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Their influence is palpable. It's like they've sprinkled a layer of kid-friendly humor throughout the film. True, James but I couldn't help but notice that this kid-friendly humor sometimes takes a dark turn. There are moments that might genuinely scare the younger audience. That big mutant fly. Intense. And kudos to the voice work, especially Ice Cube's portrayal. Starts off cool, but when he gets intense, it's spine-chilling. Agreed, Eva. Now, let's talk mutants. We've got plethora of them here. Mondo Gecko, Scumbug, Janus Frog, and more. But you know, it almost feels like they're checking boxes rather than giving these mutants depth. Though I must admit, Paul Rudd as Mondo Gecko is quite the standout. Definitely, James. And while we're on the topic of mutants, let's address the name game. Super Flea, originally meant to be Baxter Stockman, seems like a creative decision. But did they just look at a poster of mutants and decide who gets a gender change? It's an interesting approach, to say the least. Absolutely, Eva. It's like they were trying to strike a balance between familiar faces and fresh characters. Now, Giancarlo Esposito as Baxter Stockman, while an amazing casting choice, feels underused. It's a shame, considering his talent. True that, James. Now, let's dive into the storytelling. This movie sometimes takes the direct route in delivering its lessons and themes. Instead of letting the audience connect the dots, it's like the movie is saying, here, let us show you exactly what we mean. Agreed, Eva. A little subtlety goes a long way. And speaking of subtlety, Raphael's rage is anything but. The references to it are everywhere, but it's more of a wink and nod to fans than an actual emotional arc. Right, James? It's like they're banking on our nostalgia, which can sometimes take away from the overall emotional experience. Now let's talk about that ending. It didn't quite hit the Ninja Turtles vibe, did it? Not at all, Eva. But hey, let's remember that this film is primarily geared towards the younger audience. It's all about colorful adventures and mutant mayhem for them. So, if you've got kids, they're likely to have a blast with this one. Absolutely, James. And you know what? It's refreshing to see a movie that's just 90 minutes long. In a world of lengthy films, that brevity is a nice change of pace. It keeps the pacing tight and ensures that young viewers stay engaged. Totally, Eva. And speaking of engaging, let's talk about the essence of Ninja Turtles. The heart of their story lies in their journey from ordinary turtles to skilled ninjas. It's a bit of a letdown that this film takes a shortcut by having them emulate martial arts from movies. It feels like a missed opportunity to explore their growth and training. I couldn't agree more, James. The Ninja Turtles origin story is a vital part of their charm. Watching them learn and adapt to their new abilities is what makes them so endearing. This film's approach feels like it caters more to a specific generation's perspective, rather than embracing the core of the turtle's essence. That's exactly it, Eva. It's like the filmmakers were trying to make the turtles relatable to a new generation, but in doing so, they overlooked the rich history that fans have cherished for years. The balance between honoring the source material and appealing to modern audiences is a tricky one. You hit the nail on the head, James. It's a challenge to strike that balance, especially when dealing with such iconic characters. And while the movie does deliver on its comedic aspect, 
It sometimes feels like the humor takes center stage at the expense of deeper character development. Right, Eva? The jokes and gags are fun, but they shouldn't overshadow the essence of who these characters are. The Ninja Turtles are more than just punchlines. They're a team of brothers who kick butt and have heart. It's important to capture that dynamic while still making audiences laugh. Absolutely, James. At the end of the day, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem might not be a perfect film, but it's important to remember its target audience. Kids are going to have a blast with the vibrant animation, the action-packed scenes, and the mutant madness. That's the spirit, Eva. Let's celebrate the fact that Ninja Turtles are still making their way onto the big screen and entertaining new generations. And you know what? If you're in the mood for a lighthearted, fast-paced adventure, this film definitely delivers on that front. Absolutely, James. So, to all you viewers out there, whether you're a lifelong turtle fan or just looking for some colorful fun, give Mutant Mayhem a shot. And hey, don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Thanks for joining us on this Ninja Turtles journey, everyone. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more entertaining discussions like this one. And if you're hungry for more content, check out our other videos right over here. Until next time, stay curious, stay awesome, and keep embracing those mutant adventures.